Yo, 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 it's your boy, David Odom Chuck. Welcome to Everything Rafa Related. So this is part three of a series of videos. Um, if you haven't seen them already, I have a video of the framed and frameless Pro Series shades from Rafa. Here we're going to unbox and do a little first impression of the Explore Series along with the Casual Shades too. Now, I'm just going to randomly pick them and just kind of see what happens from there. Let's go. Okay. The boxes on all three are the same. Get that, you know, microfiber type feel to it. Super cool. The carrying case is the same as the framed carrying case. And the reason for that is there's a separate pocket here for a clear lens. Super cool. You don't have to buy that separately. So I'll make sure to try that on, see what it's like. Um, I almost kind of feel like I should apologize in advance. Uh, here's a nose guard. Because I don't do any gravel riding or, you know, off-roading. And there's something else besides a nose guard. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, the framed or frameless didn't have this. But you have a, yeah. Um, you know, to hold your glasses from the back. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, Explore, hence the name. Um, as I was saying is I don't really do any off-roading, so I'm personally not gonna keep any of these or use them, but I'm definitely gonna give you a look of you know the colorways and what I think about them. I mean, why not? Guys, I, I promise you I didn't plan this, but my first two unboxing, I, I picked up the white frames first in both those videos and in this video too. That's, that's just great, that's just great. Anyways, okay, okay. Okay, I mean, maybe I'll like these. I don't know, got a mirror over there, by the way. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, you got the white, same colorway between all three series. Kind of goes with the AirPods, like I've mentioned. Um, personally, I don't like them, the, the whites, because I don't do any, uh, you know, white clothing-wise, but that's, that's personal. You got a white helmet, you throwing these on. But if you're doing Explorer stuff, you probably don't have a white helmet, so I'm pretty sure these are gonna be the lowest selling for them. Okay, you have these super cool little creative holes up top, obviously for airflow. It's the most uh, small, it's the most small, I could have worded that better. It's the smallest of the bunch for sure, as far as the size of the lens go. Um, the nose piece does fully remove, so easy cleaning as far as that goes. Um, obviously the nose guard pieces you remove um, and let's see what it's like to replace the lens. I've never did this before so you know. Okay, yeah, super simple. Removed it from the top first and then you just kind of slide it out from there. Let's go ahead and put in the clear lens. You know, start from one end. Yeah, definitely start from one end and then don't even worry about the center. Just go clip it into the other side and then finish it with the tops. And there you go. And that's what it looks, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, that sits so much closer. I don't know if you saw my facial reaction. That was just great. The reason why is I have misplaced. I don't even know what I do with it. I don't even know. You guys see it? Because I don't see it. So I'm missing the, uh, the centerpiece. Okay, I feel a little dumb right now. It's on the lens themselves. Wow, okay, okay. I might edit that out. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Okay, so that's what the clear looks like. I kind of feel like the clears will be used a lot because you know, you off-road and got mud slinging in your face and all kinds of crazy stuff, I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the other color series. Um, this will be more of, the rest of the review will be more of just kind of going over the color series because I've already kind of given my impressions of them. And we have the, these are the bronze. These are the, uh, the, the brownish looking color. They're not the blacks for sure. Also feel like these will be popular too, for sure, because they, they, they give a, a nice little glare. I mean, I, I got the light shining at me, so you're probably getting a nice little, little glare of them for sure. Um, we'll do a little color comparison here. Got the clears. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, moving on. Next, we have the, I believe I read it, set all black. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, wait a second. 
Wait a second, this is kind of cool. It's like a 90s glasses. You know how they had that like zebra print? It's kind of the, the vibe I'm getting from these. Whoa. Okay, if I ever get into gravel biking, I'm grabbing these. They look so sweet. Um, you yeah, know, obviously not with this outfit, but that this is kind of cool. I like them. I like them. They're, they're, they're really cool. Super retro to them. Also brownish, black. Definitely different between the two. So these are just complete matte, while these are super shiny. So that's a huge difference between the two. Personally, I like the shiny better. And then throwing them on this frame, that would be pretty hot. You know, something Rafa doesn't do yet is sell them the, the, the lenses themselves separately, which kind of sucks. I wish they did because that's a prime example of like, you know, I like the frames there and I, you know, like the lenses there. Okay, for the last ones are these solid blacks, at least I hope, right? Bro, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I guess these are, they don't even have a solid black. Interesting. I'll have to double check online, but yeah, no, no. These are the blues. That is very different. So these are the blues. These will actually match this outfit the best right here. Okay, so yeah, bluish greenish tent. Obviously you're gonna wanna match that to your gear, um, clothing, attire. I like it. Anything else I can mention about the shades? You gotta, yeah, guys. They don't have a solid black for the for the Explore series. This would be the black right here. Interesting. Okay, Rafa, I hear you. Um, look for future colorways in the future, I guess. Right, guys. Okay, so this wraps up all three part video series. If you haven't seen. Any of my other videos, they'll be in the description down below or the end cards that are about to pop up. And I'll have these for a good bit, so if you have any comments, questions, throw them down below. Like this video, and as always, make sure to subscribe because if you're looking for anything Rafa related, I mean, if it drops, it will be on this channel. Heck, I'm wearing the new Crit series. Um, well, Justin Williams was actually sporting these, so that was kind of cool. Um, and I've got the full head-to-toe gear set up, and I will be doing that video too. So make sure to stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, one more thing, one more thing. I forgot to do an unboxing video of their Chill Series. I should really learn what their name is, just classic sunglasses. I call them Chill Series. Um, yeah, and so let's just do a little unboxing. I might throw this at the end of all the videos. You wouldn't really wear these cycling at all, although they do sit very close to the face, so you could if you're on a chill, casual ride down a trail, then you know, this these glasses would work. Otherwise, if you're just looking for like, you know, super classic, uh, so yeah, so if you're just kind of chilling, then these shades will definitely do the trick. I think it's like the Wayfair style glasses. Um, you can definitely wear this with regular clothing. Um, don't believe they're designed for actually cycling. Although if you got excited, I'm sure you can make it happen. Okay, so that's everything. Bye.